Hello, everyone, and welcome to another Mondays with Michelle video. This week, we will explore Liverpool's Merseyside Maritime Museum. We'll look at a wide variety of online resources, including curated collections, information sheets, and articles. Let's get started. So what you see here is the National Museum's Liverpool website. And as I mentioned, this week we're going to take a look at the Merseyside Maritime Museum in Liverpool. So if you click this visit link and scroll down, you will see that this website actually covers seven different museums in the Liverpool area. The Merseyside Maritime Museum is the one we are going to focus on. So if we click on the Merseyside Maritime Museum link, you come to this particular page. Now, a few things I noticed about this website, you actually have two sets of menus here. So these menus at the top are for the group of museums. So if you click on stories or what's on or collections, you're seeing the combined results for all of those museums. If you look at this lower menu with the big pink stripe that says Maritime Museum, that is the menu options just for the Maritime Museum. So if I click this collections link, I'm seeing the collections just for the Maritime Museum. If I click the collections line at the very top of the screen, I would be seeing collections not just for the Maritime Museum, but for all of the other museums as well. So what I wanted to do first is just show you some of the options here. Basically, this home page for the Maritime Museum, if we just scroll down, you can see a lot of different categories. There is a collections section with links to various collections. There's some information on where they're located visiting hours. There's a link to the archive center. And there's this explore online section. The point I want to make here, if we go back up to the top, that is the same categories that you see here. So by clicking on these links, all you are doing is scrolling down through this home page to these different categories. So what I'd like to look at first is the collections section. So two of them that I just wanted to show you quickly, there is the Titanic collection and if you click on the link you come to information about the Titanic and each of these is a link to more information about the Titanic. There also is a special presentation on the Titanic. Basically, this is what they call one of their online offerings. So you can go to the stories. You can see a video about the exhibit. And you can look at, again, articles about different aspects to, to do with the Titanic. 
the one thing I find to get back to the Maritime Museum, the easiest way is either to click on this visit drop down and select Maritime Museum or down here where it says Titanic Maritime Museum, click that link. And we're back at the Maritime Museum homepage with all of these familiar links that I showed you. So for collections, as I said, we have the Titanic collection. We also have the Lusitania collection. So you may want to explore those. If we look at the What's On link, there are some interesting items. We've talked about the Titanic. We've talked about Lusitania. They also have this Life on Board, which again, these links here take you to more information about life on board these ships. So you've got a video. There are different stories. And some of them are historical. Some of them are from modern times. So you may find just to add more information for um, information you're writing up on your ancestors. You might find that that's something that you want to look at. Let's go back to the Maritime Museum homepage. So what I'd like to show you is under the About tab, and we're going to look at the Archives Center. So I'm going to click on Explore the Archives. And again, we now have this second menu specific to the Archive Center within the Maritime Museum. So one of the areas I want us to look at are these information sheets. So think of them like research guides. And as you can see, there are quite a few. Now, I was interested in looking at the emigration information sheet, and I've just got it up here. So I'll just show you that link. So under emigration, we have quite a few different information sheets. And I was quite interested to see that they had one specifically for child emigration. So I clicked on that sheet. And this is what it looks like. And if you look at the details, it gives quite a bit of information on child emigration. And I found it particularly interesting that they provide details on the different societies that were involved in child emigration schemes. So everything from the children's homes, some of the Catholic organizations, the Dr. Bernardo homes, um, a number of arrangements that I wasn't familiar with. And at the bottom here, they have a bibliography. They also have addresses. So those of you that are researching children who were sent to Canada or elsewhere, either during the war or children who were foundlings and were sent overseas, you may find there are some useful clues here. And I should clarify one of the reasons I chose this website, I thought it might be interesting, is because so many of us have ancestors who went elsewhere from England. And Liverpool was one of the major ports, certainly if they were going to Australia or going to North America. So I thought there might be um, useful information for many of you on this particular website. So those are the, the um, information sheets, which are like 
the research guides that we typically see on a lot of the archive websites. I also want to show you if we come back here to Maritime Museum and we go back to about and the archives. So I do find sometimes um, getting back to your main menu is a little bit awkward in that you've got to reselect the Maritime Museum to get back to uh, your starting point, if you will, so that you are restricting your searches just within the Maritime Museum. So the other link I wanted to show you under the Archive Center is this Start Your Search link. And what I like about this, it has all kinds of links to other websites, particularly maritime history websites. It's got links to other countries' archives, special interest sites for emigration. So it's well worth exploring some of these other links. The other area I wanted to show you is this major collections link on the archive site. So again, it talks about some of the collections they have. You will see they have this online feature, and this is much like the curated Titan Titanic or Lusitania collections. They have curated a collection on Liverpool and the American Civil War. So what I've discovered just by poking around on the website, there are a number of these curated collections and I suspect what's happened is at various times they probably had these as special featured online exhibits. But unfortunately there isn't a way to just get a list of all of them. So I found a number of them by accident. They are not actually selectable through any drop down links on the main menu bar. We have more links here to the various types of records. And they also have, there is a separate slavery museum, and they have records of slave traders and abolitionists. So they tended to be more the African slave trade. Um, so it was really interesting looking at that museum website and looking at some of those records just to see the involvement with the whole slave trade. So now that we've looked at those particular links, the other area I want to show you, and we need to get back to the main menu for the museum. So if I go back to visit and Maritime Museum to get back to the main menu, I want to look at this Explore Online link. And what I want to look at is this item that says stories. Now, strangely enough, even though we went in through the Maritime Museum link, when I go to this stories, you notice it's highlighted in this menu at the very top, this menu that says National Museums of Liverpool. So the default, if I scroll through, is it's giving me articles or stories from all of the museums in the National Museums Liverpool group. So what I need to do is click on this filter button and I want just the Maritime Museum stories. And this is what 
I get. So I now have, if I scroll down, I've got 10 pages of stories specific to the Maritime Museum. And one of the stories that I explored was this article on the innocence lost at sea. And it is talking about um, evacuees during World War II, there was a ship called the City of Benares containing 90 evacuee children, amongst other passengers, that was torpedoed and sunk. And it's talking about this tragedy. And what I found interesting in this article, um, there are all these highlighted links. And when I happen to click, on the link that says SS City of Benares, lo and behold, I came to this online curated collection that they had created probably for, I think it was the 80th anniversary of the sinking in 2020. So this would have been one of their online features. And if you scroll through, it gives various information about that tragedy. You can click these links, which provide videos. Um, there are interviews. This, this here is an interview with one of the adults um, who survived the sinking, who was a child at the time of the sinking. And this is an interview with her about her memories of that, that particular event. There's details of what happened and the ship that rescued the children and the few survivors. And basically just looking at, again, this collection of information. So I found that particularly interesting since I had stumbled across the child emigration information sheet. I was really glad that I had discovered this curated selection of resources. And they've built this online um, project around various articles about the tragedy. So this is one of the articles, if you go scrolling through those nine pages of stories, this is one of the articles. And it shows a plaque here for some of the children that were killed. There's a story of two children, one of them, this Lady Barbara, who was interviewed, two children who basically encouraged each other to continue clinging to some of the um, debris so that they could be rescued. So again, there are a lot of resources on this website. I think those of you who are searching for information about ancestors, who might have emigrated elsewhere or children sent away, either from orphanages or during World War II, sent away for their protection. This website may very well have some useful information. I hope you enjoyed learning about the Merseyside Maritime Museum website. Don't forget to download the handout. You'll find the links in the video description at the bottom of your screen. Thanks for watching.